Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up Escape Room Z in your own home easy. So first things first, you can look at the setup guide anytime you like by hovering over Escape Kits, Escape Room Z, Setup Guide, clicking that link. And this gives you all the details in far more detail than I'm about to give you. Links, videos, I'm probably on here. Everything you need is here. That said, I'm going to show you how to do it too. So let's go ahead to Escape Room Z. So there are, there's also an instruction thing here too. Yeah, instructions are everywhere. We love telling you how to do things. I'm going to look at the home printable version, but you could easily go as 6x4 cards. That works just fine. Anyway, so there are two main ways to set up Escape Room Z in your home. There's an easy way, super easy way, where you take the cards, you take all these clue cards, except for these three. Bump, bump, bump. This needs to go on the wall for sure. So you take these cards and you just dump them on the table. And that's it. I know, simple, right? It's basically a board game at that point. A puzzle game for you guys to figure out together. And that is way more fun than it sounds. Way more fun. Like, that's actually how I prefer to play it. If you are wanting to make it a bigger event, and more like an escape room, that's great. This game is designed to let you do that. There's these cards you see are designed for you to be able to cut out and hide around the room or around the house, however big you want to make this thing. You can set up decorations, you can set up posters on the wall. We give you posters. We give you blood words. You can hang up places. Like there is you can do so much with this kit. Uh, for example, props. Yeah, there we go. We got blood-sized words, letters you can use to decorate the place. We've got posters you can use to decorate the place. You can really theme this up. Uh, a great example of turning it into like an escape room is if you go to reviews, example parties, and 12-year-old birthday. Now this is not for Escape Room Z, this is for The Lost Mummy, but it applies, it's the same sort of thing. So what they've done, they've themed up the room with decorations, with a tapestry, it's really cool, really cool. There's a video there if you want to watch it later on. Uh, what they've done, they've taken these puzzles here, they've put it onto wood to really make it like a tactile experience. They've even painted these jars and put the puzzles on there, that's really cool. Uh, they've incorporated physical locks into it too. Like this chest has a lock on it that is linked to the answer from this stone puzzle here. And once you open it, you get treasure and extra clues for more puzzles. Like, you can do that with Escape Room Z as well. Take a look through it, see the best way that will work in your house to really theme it up. Uh, certainly some of the easiest ways you could do it is to use real locks on to replace the locks on the oven and the locks on the virtual lock that's protecting the gun in the gun safe. Right, oh. So, regardless of which way you're doing it, this is the preferred way you set it up. So you take these cards and you place them on the wall, the ones that are hanging, they go on the wall, the light switch that goes on the wall, this one that goes on the wall, everything else can go sort of on the floor on a table, wherever you like. These three pictures here of the zombies, they actually go together to form one picture. Now, you, if I think it's the posters, yeah. If you'd prefer, you can print off this big poster version as well. And the idea is you stick that on the outside of a window or a sliding glass door, preferably, and to sort of simulate the feel of the zombies pressing themselves against you, trying to get in. Then you take this lock. This is a lock, believe it or not. And you put that on your oven, boom. And you just say, boom, the oven is locked. And you need to align these correctly in order to unlock the oven. 
you can take a pizza card, picture of a pizza, or if you'd like, you could put a real pizza in the oven. After that, you need to secure your weapon too. So you take a, a Nerf gun or a rubber band gun, put it in a little drawer, and once people have the code, they can open the drawer and take it out. You then need to assemble all these zombie targets. Uh, the easy way to do that is I can just show you how to do that in the setup guide. There's a really simple graphic. Here it is. So you cut along these tabs, cut along those tabs, and slip it together like that, and it will just stand up. You can see how they stand up here very, very easily. So you want to assemble all these zombie targets and scatter them around the room in a shooting gallery, because we're going to shoot at them later. Now after that, that's pretty much the game set up. Now you can add extra theming hacks, you can dress in costumes, put on the Spotify playlist, and just have a blast. If you'd like more detail, read through the setup guide. It will has a whole bunch of tips for you. But the key points to remember, you need to put the cards on the table, hang some of the cards on the wall, assemble the zombies targets, divide your group into teams. If you've got a large group, you need to divide yourself into smaller teams, preferably of four to six. There's larger groups tips here for you. I'm not going to read that. You can read it. Have fun. Okay. Good luck escaping the horde.